Ahoma takoyasin, osian my chikasian to all our relations. Welcome here. Namaste, sadnam. Divine reflections. Welcome to this 1212 portal. I was just beginning to explain to those who uh, were arriving that this session is to consider your intentions for this next 12 days and for the closing of the year and as well for manifesting in the new year. So looking into yourself and asking yourself, uh, connecting to what is stuck with you, what residual energies are within you that need to be purged from the last year and the last decade. What are you letting go of from the last decade? This uh, change of the age that has been initiated since 2012 is coming into a new upcycle of energy and many new ascended beings of light and uh, beings from the galactic brother brethren, the star brothers and sisters are coming to share their teachings on a stronger wavelength and channel through more and more uh, teachers and channelers and beings who are working with the nature magic, the energy of connecting to the earth and father sky. So what is preventing you from feeling your full spirit, being in your full self, being in your full expression of your light? How can you look at letting go from the last 10 years? And what would you like to create for this year of manifest miracles coming up in 2022? Uh, the 222 energy gives us a lot of potent t uh, transformation energy. This allows us to tune into the elements of ourselves as well as to the ego mind and to come from the space of looking at the ego in truth as uh, something that is um, requires actually to be nourished. The, the inner child that requires to be nourished is when the ego expresses itself in a sort of, um, what would I say, a scattered or chaotic manner is when the inner child is feeling um, undernourished and disconnected to. So how can you manifest your dreams and your miracles from that childlike state of joy, acceptance, openness, and allowing yourself to flow into the play of life, the miracles of manifest creation that you already are within you. Um, yeah, so considering your intentions, shedding away from the last 10 years and manifesting for 2022, manifesting miracles, really considering infinite possibility. Don't box yourself in or limit yourself. Look at infinite possibility. There's no need to be practical with these intentions at this time as this portal that is taking place right now is going to crack through what we believe or have agreed collectively is practical. Uh, as the energies are truly changing uh, across the globe as a result of many seeds that have been planted since 2011, 2012, 2013 vortex. And this energy, these seeds are now coming to growth, coming to fruition. And they ask for our nourishment and our like giving them the elements that they need, the water, the fire, the earth and the air that they require in order to come into fullness and grow as we have been asking for. So also in this um, considering, considering of your intentions for closing this year and connecting to your highest and brightest self, what is it at this time that you need to nourish? What is it at this time that you need to nourish from what you've already been asking for? Many of us set in, uh, set our lives into motion. Those of us who are going through this awakening process, many of us set our lives into true motion in 2011, 2012, 2013. But we may not really realize how much has actually taken place that has guided us from that portal into this portal now. And this coming um, solstice is a mirror portal of the 2012 solstice portal. So they mirror each other numerolo numerologically and they mirror each other energetically. You could, one could say that this is the true change of the golden age that was predicted by the Maya as well as the Vedic uh, astrologers. Um, and the reality of it is that the entire world did change in 2012. And now we are coming to the space of reflection on all of the lessons that have come through that portal of ascension that we've all been sort of processing the a bit of the collective dark night of the soul. And I know that many of you listening are aware that you've gone through a dark night of your soul 
since 2012 and in fact might be actually only doing it now which is great and not to say only as in not great that you're maybe a little behind the timeline the truth of this mirror portal is that it's actually the same timeline coming into a reconvergence this last decade we've actually been in a, 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 a subtle space of unrecognizable no time even though the years have been counting the amount of access points of energy and learning opportunities that have taken place are actually exponentially greater than most of our history. We've evolved more in this last 10 years than uh, humanity actually ever has. I don't know if science can back that up, however, quantum science definitely can because everything is vibration. And one thing we do see currently on our Earth is that the frequency of the Earth is higher than we've ever been able to record it. They are even having to recalibrate the devices which uh, monitor the frequency of the Earth because they can't hear it anymore because it's so high. So what is this whole intention of raising our vibrations really doing? It's literally changing the sound, the frequency of the Earth. And all of creation is made of sound and everything resonates to sound. All water resonates to sound and has the memory of all sounds within it. And um, right now the beings that I like to work with or have worked with, which are essentially star beings, star people, galactic beings from uh, many different areas. But my soul originates from where what I call the source quadrant in these 12 planets of light body that are sort of swirling spheres of ro rainbow light that surround the source particle that I spoke about in the meditation earlier if you were present. Uh, if not, it was saved. I recommend doing it if you haven't yet. Um, and anyways, this energy vortex of the source quadrant is where all souls actually are first birthed as seeds, as soul seeds or star seeds. And then from there, the pulse of source kind of sends out a big light blast every now and then, and a bunch of souls fly out into different parts of the universe to create new galaxies, new, new planets, new stars, and or simply those of us who are humans <laughs> walking around on a planet as stars squished into these little bodies. And um, now is the time to realize that inner, inner connection to the source energy and these beings that I work with who are closer here now, a lot of the Galactic Federation you may have heard of, as well as the ancestors of this Earth, um, have converged with the, some of the sacred sounds of the yogic traditions, um, or the Sanskrit Devanagari language, and this, the vibration that is flowing through the galaxy and the universe at this time is Om Ram, Ham, Yam, Om. Om, Ram. Ham, Yam, Om. Om, Ram. Ham, Yam, Om. I'd recommend writing it down. Uh, I think I wrote it in the blog thing that I shared yesterday. Maybe you found it, maybe you haven't. If you have uh, registered for the course platform for this retreat, whether you have or whether you haven't, I will add that blog there so that you can also read about the portal and a little bit of galactic history. And um, yes, I will also be sharing this video, this recorded video, and I'll add registration information to the description of this video. So if you'd like to participate in the rest of the whole retreat and or catch up on anything you've missed, it's organized in its own free platform. Um, so anyways, that just fell out of my mouth. I'm going to sing the song now. <laughs> and that was some information to uh, connect you to why this um, free retreat offering is happening through me. And also, I'm supposed to mention that I had a big emotional process of almost dropping it yesterday out of confusion and my ego trying to get at me. And uh, there's so much emotional purging right now going on that it's a, a really important time to be forgiving with ourselves, but also to realize and be aware of the moments that spirit is literally running itself through us and we're being guided by our intuition directly and our spirit directly. So the big awareness piece for me at this time is that we're in a mirror portal or a mirror dimension 
which is about reflecting upon yourself and upon the energies of divinity. So many of you have uh, worked with the teachings of yoga and you know the word namaste. And at this time, that really takes up a whole greater vibration of really truly reflecting the divine from within yourself to everything around you. Because this portal is a mirror of light that is putting a split of energy back together. And at this time, there are a lot of uh, beings who are doing this work to bring these messages in because our star brothers and sisters are sending a lot of light waves uh, in order to get the information in. And it, at this time, still has to come through human bridges. So thank you for walking into this time together and becoming a bridge yourself. And um, yeah, I'm going to remember the song that I was going to play now. <laughs> and my guitar is not tuned. Okie dokie. Can you guys hear that?
what's inside of us, where the universe dwells. We are re-entering the home within. We are returning to the place inside of us, where the universe dwells. We are re-entering the home within. We are learning how to feel. We are learning how to heal. We are learning ourselves. We are learning how to feel. We are learning how to heal. We are learning to come back into ourselves. We return, 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 we remember, we recollect, we return, we return, we return. Take a few deep breaths and feel the elements surrounding you and your cellular memory coming online. And tuning into your spirit, tuning into your beingness, and allowing yourself to really hear the truth of your intention. And when you are ready, you can bring your intention forward to this sacred space. <sighs> 